Hey, what is up guys, it is Dripdot here. Today I'm here to show you how to make a database. So this is going to be a nice simple database, um, how to make the entries, how to set up the relationships between them. I have uh, I have previously had tutorials on how to make schemas and data dictionaries and stuff, so this is all pretty similar, but this is making it much more complicated, but still simple. And uh, yeah, so let's get into it. So the, the program I'm using is Microsoft Access 2013. Um, so yeah, you need this. Yeah, Access. Anyway, let's go make a blank desktop database. Let's go. Nope. Oh my god. What have I done? What have I done? Well, whatever. It's called Database Tube. Okay, so when you're here, as you can see, it might look very confusing compared to, say, Word or... Um, oh, what's it called? Uh, PowerPoint or anything, but um, you can get used to it. So what you want to first do is go create and then click table. All right. So as you can see, I've got two tables here. Let's actually just get rid of it. Let's just close all of them. Close all of them. Let's create a new table. All right. So the first table we're going to go view. We're going to put it into design view. Now it's going to come up in a table name. So we're going to call this one. Let's say customer table all right so here we've got all our field names data types and description um, so this is all sort of like the data dictionary um, so yeah let's just fill in all this stuff got all the fields entered and the descriptions and the examples um, you don't have to write examples but this is going to make it a bit easier for us so what you're going to do is so for customer ID so as you can see it's uh, CUS001 so what we're going to do is going to change the field size from 255 to 6 because there's only we only want six characters which is here so and then the input mask what we're going to do is we're going to go um, inverted commas and then CUS inverted comma hash hash hash. So what this is going to do is when we enter our data, it's going to automatically have a CUS for the ID, and then the hash hash will just be any random numbers, and we'll only be able to have a maximum of three. Uh, first name will set to say twenty because not many people have very long names. Uh, last name we'll set to say thirty. The address we'll make it say fifty. You never know. Some people might live in some weird street. Now state, um, we're going to limit this to th uh, 3. And what we're going to do is we're going to go look up. We're going to go to display. We're going to change that to list box. We're going to change the table and query to value list. Now this is going to add like a drop down box so you can have different uh, categories. So what we're going to have is a NSW for New South Wales and a semicolon, uh, Queensland. Uh, Victoria, Western Australia, South Australia, uh, Northern Territory, Tasmania, and um, thingy, Canberra. Um, so now if we go ahead and uh, save that and we go into data sheet view, look at this, it's created some nice things for us, um, some nice tables for us. So if we go customer ID, as you can see it automatically comes up with CUS. You can't get rid of it or anything. So we're just going to go uh, 001. And you see I can't type any other num letters or numbers. Uh, first name, let's just go John. Last name Smith. Address uh, 123 Fake Street. Customer state. Now Look, now look at this school thing. So it's made a drop box and you can see there's all the different thing, fields that are entered, which is really cool. So let's say let's New South Wales. And then next one, let's go say, if I just add in 002, it automatically makes it CUS because I had the input mask in design view. If I go to customer ID, I had the input mask to be CUS. So that's really cool. Um, if we go back to data sheet view, and I'm just going to go through, make some 
more field entries and I'll, I'll be back with when I've created um, two other tables. Now I've made all these three entries um, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my next table which will be a product table. So I'm going to design view Alright, so we're just going to do the same. We're going to have product ID. Uh, we'll have that short text. Okay, right, now that I've got all these, um, let me just quickly put some examples. Um, PlayStation. Uh, electronics and uh, $500, whatever. Alright, so now for all these, so let's go through and just quickly make these. So we have six input minus, the inverted commas, pro, and then the hash, hash, hash product name, we'll make this a 50, 15, product type, what we're going to do is, we'll do the same as the things with the state, we'll have a drop down box, oh, so we've got to go to list box, change the table and create to the value, then we'll add our value, so let's say sports, um, electronics, uh, furniture, now you must always make sure to have your um, semicolon separating each of the categories, that was a will not work. Um, and then let's say hunting, I don't know. Alright, now product cost, we're going to change the short text to currency. And as you can see, these are all your currencies, you can make euros, fixed, standard, pretty cool. So let's keep it on uh, currency. And uh, yeah, so now if we go into data sheet view, save it, as you can see it has all these, so I'm just going to quickly go through and uh, enter all these things, all the uh, fields. Alright, now that I've entered these, um, I'm going to go ahead and save all my things, save. Go ahead and save the tables. Now that we've got these two, we need to make one more table, which will be our invoice table. So, invoice table. Alright, let me just go through and enter all these. Um, got those we need to add the product ID and the customer ID again you will see why I will be doing this or before our relationships um, on which I will get to later on in the video so let me just quickly go back into these just grab that now these are all primary keys so we have to make sure we write for in key Get the one from the customer table. All right. All right. Go ahead and save it. All right. Now for the invoice date, we're going to change that to from short text to date and time, and the cost to currency. Now date and time. If you go to um, the format, you can set a whole lot. So as you can see, I've made my 12 June 14. Um, so I'm just going to make that medium date. You can make it short, long, uh, you can do time, it's general, uh, the time end date. Uh, this is American, so the month will be first, so yeah, so that's why I'm going to do medium date. Um, the currency, you can go through and change that again if you need to. Yep, so go ahead into data sheet view, save it. Now the ID, let's just go 001. 
Ah, now, you see, the mistake I made was I didn't go through into my invoice table. Oh, and I didn't... Um, Alright, this is really getting annoying. In my stable ID field. Alright, I won. Whatever. Alright. Design view. Now, you see, I didn't change this to 6, and I didn't put my input mask. So you must always make sure to put your input mask, otherwise it will not work properly. It was 1. Another thing, just check. Um, See the product IDs. You got to make sure they're the same. So when you ha make the relationships, they um they all interconnect and they all worked. Hash hash hash. I think I made this a number. Yeah, I did. Hash hash hash. Uh, six input mask. Uh, CUS. Hash hash hash. All right. Just go ahead and save that. All right. Now if you go to data sheet view, now you'll see, now it's working, 01, invoice date, go to the calendar, oh, calendar, you can say that date, uh, $45, product ID, uh, 001, see now it's working, let's say customer 2 bought product 1. Um, you can't go over the limit, you can't go above 4 because as you can see in my customer table, if I go into data sheet view, I only have three customers, so I can't go above three for that, and my products, I can't go above three because I've only made three. But when you have more, that's when you can start going above and all that, so I'll just go through and quickly do all these, and I'll be back when I'm done. So I've just made a couple extra for that one, um, so let's just go ahead and save it. So now that all these are entered, what I'm going to do is I'm going to close all of them and go into relation, go to um, oh, designs meant to be here. I'm going to open it. Um, here you go, design. Uh, relationships. So I'm going to go to relationships. I'm going to add all these in. Close it. I'm just going to close that. Now with my relationships, what I'm going to do is I'm going to save my invoice table. Here it is. I'm going to get the product ID. I'm going to click and drag to this product ID. You see it's one too many, so that's good. Enforce, reference your integrity, create. And look, it's made one to infinity meaning one to infinity um, things and then same for the customer ID just gonna do that now these are all linked up and related so if I go ahead and save that and then close if I go and open up all my tables again right, and then I go to create if I go to uh, query design if I add all my tables in since they're now all integrated, if I want to search for uh, the uh, customer first name, let's say the product uh, name and the product cost. So if I want to search for, if I go into my customer table, I've got John, Peter and Nick. So let's say I want to search for someone with the letter J. I'll hit go J, go asterisk, J, J, asterisk. And then if I uh, go to design, hit run, search up for whatever John's bought. So if you look on my invoice table, so so customer table, John is 001. Uh, customer 001 has bought product 3 and 2, which were the rugby ball and the couch. As you can see here, he's bought the rugby ball and the couch. So that's making queries. So that's pretty cool. You can do that as well. Just go ahead and save that. Uh, we'll call that John query. Alright, so yeah, that was just a nice uh, little tutorial on how to make a, a nice simple database, how to uh, 
uh, make them all relate and have some relationships between them and then how to make queries. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to slap that like button, hit the subscribe button, comment what you thought the video was like. And uh, yeah, I will see you guys later. Peace out.